Mr. Donald Trump right. has the maximum amount of media attention currently in India. And uh, then there is Hillary Clinton because she was, right at the beginning, um, it was assumed that she was going to be the leading candidate from the Democratic Party. But then appeared this independent candidate, Bernie Sanders, and he seems to be giving her quite a tough fight. Yes. So, um, one, maybe okay. we can come to... You, you got to feel the burn. 69% of the Republicans in, the, in my state voted for Senator Ted Cruz. They did not vote for uh, Mr. Trump. But I think that what Donald Trump has done, he has tapped in to a frustration of the American people that things are not working in Washington, that Washington with gridlock, that, that Washington has not been, the, the people in Washington from the president to members of Congress have not been doing their job. He is a master at exploiting our differences uh, and at playing to our, and, ex, and exploiting our tensions. Uh, and I think he has done this whether it's the divide between the genders, uh, the divide between religions, uh, divide between races, uh, divide even between uh, people of different economic means. Um, he's a master manipulator. What is a primary, what is a caucus, and what are delegates and superdelegates? What is... Great, great, great question. <laughs> so, so in America, anybody can file uh, to become president of the United States. We started uh, a year ago with 17 candidates that wanted, uh, in the Republican Party, there were 17 presidential candidates. The primary process is a way to refine that down and choose the one candidate that will re represent the Republican Party in the general election in November. That's essentially what the primary process is about. What we're doing right now, this is, it's a primary, the, the parties are trying to choose who their candidate is going to be. This is an internal party process. So citizens, this is not a general vote of the public. This is political parties trying to choose their candidates. The vote of the people counts in the general election. The, the vote of party members counts in the party process. And it's the party rules and the party process that determines who the candidate will be for the Republican Party or the Democratic Party not the general vote of the people. In November, uh, when we call, we call this the, the direct vote, yeah. but in fact we are not voting for the president, we are voting for so-called electors, electors who go to the electoral college. So each state sends a certain number of representatives, if you will, of that state to the electoral college and it is the result of the uh, voting that occurs uh, late, in November, late in December uh, when the Electoral College is convened that actually determines who the next president will be.